Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So I finally took my wig off and it is time to take care and nourish my natural hair. So this is typically how I wear my hair when it's under my wig. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my two braids out and then I'm going to completely drench my hair in water first and then I'll begin shampooing. When I need some loving baby And I'll never let you down Let you down, let you down so I like to focus on moisture with my hair. So I'm gonna go in with this Manuka Honey Hydrate and Repair Shampoo by Shea Moisture. This doesn't strip my hair, but it gets my hair really clean and it makes my hair just feel really nice without it feeling really dry. So I like to go ahead and focus on my scalp first. And then once I get a good lather going there, I just drag the rest down to the ends of my hair. The universe has known it all along. Maybe this is where our story starts Maybe so I go ahead and rinse that out and then I go in one more time with the shampoo just to make sure my hair is nice and clean. So once my hair is nice and clean, I can go in with my Lovely Bees Oh Honey Moisture Mask. And this is part of my own collection, you guys, and it smells amazing. Not only does it smell amazing, but it has tons of slip, so it makes it super easy to detangle your hair. And it has tons of moisture, so it leaves your hair with a nice shine and it leaves it feeling super soft and feeling good. So I'm going to go ahead and detangle my hair with my fingers first as I rub the deep conditioner all through. And then I'm going to go in with my little hand detangler and make sure my hair is tangle free. So I pinned my hair up and continued my shower and then it was time to rinse it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use warm water and rinse it all out of my hair. And just like that, my hair feels super soft and look at the shine on it, you guys. And now for the latest product to my collection. This is my Lovely Bees Leave It Be Leave-In Conditioner, you guys. And I've been working on this for almost a year now. And it's finally here. So it smells so, so good. Tons of slip, tons of moisture. It also has a rice and oat protein in it, which is super duper helpful for growing your hair, thickening your hair up, strengthening your hair, and just keeping your hair nice and fabulous. So I like to go in with this first, you guys. And I like to go in with this while my hair is still completely set saturated which is why I like to do it in the shower because I like to give it time to actually absorb into my strands and to do its magic so I'm going to go ahead and go section by section and just begin applying the leave-in conditioner to my hair and then using my little hand detangler to comb it out about my leave-in conditioner. Its key ingredients are castor oil, honey, aloe vera gel, and rice and oat protein. So I wanted to focus on moisture, of course, but I didn't want to leave out the protein part because I still wanted to have a little bit of strengthening properties in it. I didn't want anyone to have to worry about a protein, not a protein overload, a moisture overload, which can also happen, which is why I went with rice and oat protein because they are not as strong as the typical proteins that are normally in leave-ins, but they still provide enough strength for your hair and they also also provide volume for your hair. So what I mean by volume is over time, the rice and oat protein would allow your hair to thicken up. So if you are like me and you have super duper fine strands, this will be perfect for you. Because if you guys see my hair at the beginning of the year compared to now, my hair is so much thicker and fuller and healthier and bouncier, you guys. It's just 
so much freaking better. And I also have the rice and oat protein inside of the deep conditioner as well. But today I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Miss Jessie Jelly Soft Curls. This has enough hold, um, but it doesn't have super duper hold. It has like a lightweight hold. It leaves no crunch on your hair, but it still gives you a nice definition. We got chemistry. So a little disclaimer about my leave-in, you guys. I went through eight samples to get this formula perfect and me and my chemist could not get it to mix with the Eagle Styler gels to save my life, you guys. Something about the ingredients in Eagle Styler would not mix with the ingredients inside of my leave-in no matter how I switched it up or tried it. Um, but it does mix if you put your leave-in in the shower. So if you wanna use Eagle Styler with this, you definitely have to put your leave-in on first, let it absorb into your hair, and then you can put it on. But if you try to go leave-in and then straight to the gel right after, it will create those white flakes because they just would not mix. This mixes perfectly with the Miss Jessie's. I just personally prefer to put my leave-in on in the shower but if I didn't want to it would still mix with the uh, Miss Jessie's if I went right back like back to back with it it also mixes really well with the Uncle Funky's daughter so this is what my hair looks like with both products in it and then I just let it air dry for about 30 minutes did my makeup and this is what it looks like um, throughout the little drying process of the 30 minutes and because I wanted to speed it up for this video I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse it I normally will let my hair air dry but again for the purposes of this video I'm going to go ahead and diffuse it the rest of the way. Take me so once my hair is as dry as it's gonna be on day one, because I feel like it's never completely dry until day two, I'm gonna go ahead and take my wide tooth comb and fluff it out. And this is what my hair looks like, you guys. It looks so full and healthy. Like, I am in shock myself. But I need a haircut super duper bad because I did have that blunt um, bob at the beginning of the year. I haven't got like a shape cut into my curls, so they kind of just fall flat down and just look weird in certain parts so I'm not comfortable just wearing it completely down yet so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it up into like a high poof with the bangs and then I'm gonna go in with my first baby which is my lovely beast edge control and do my edges and that is pretty much it for this video you guys if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post if you guys want to see more natural hair videos then go ahead and click the thumbs up button and give this video a thumbs up if you have any videos you want to see, then leave a comment down below. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Let me down, let me down